Welcome to the rocket profile of India's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, the rocket that launched India's Mars Orbiter Mission. Of all rockets that I know of, the PSLV has the most staging events on its way to orbit. The first stage is a solid rocket motor accompanied by six strap-on solid boosters. But only four of the six ignite at launch, the other two ignite halfway through the burn of the first four. There is a variant without six boosters, the PSLV CA, CA means core alone. The PSLV G has S9 boosters which burn for 44 seconds with 510 kilonewtons of vacuum thrust and 262 seconds vacuum specific impulse. The PSLV XL, which you see here, has S12 boosters generating 719 kilonewtons of thrust for 49 seconds with the same ISP. The core motor is the S139 and it produces 4,800 kilonewtons of vacuum thrust for 105 seconds with a sea level specific impulse of 237 seconds and vacuum ISP of 269. After all of the boosters are off and the first stage is out, the second stage takes over with a liquid engine, the Vicus 4 burning UDMH, that's unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine, and nitrogen tetroxide for 158 seconds with 799 kilonewtons of thrust. The specific impulse for this engine is 239 seconds. The Vicus 4 is related to the Viking 4 engine used on the early Ariane rockets. The second stage is followed by another solid rocket motor, this one with a vacuum specific impulse of 295 seconds, which is better than what the Vicus 4 provides, so that makes sense. This third stage provides for 240 kilonewtons of thrust for 83 seconds. After this, the rocket finally moves on to its fourth stage, and that's its fifth engine ignition event altogether with the air start boosters. And this involves two liquid L-2-5 hypergolic engines using monomethyl hydrazine and mixed oxides of nitrogen. Each of the two fourth stage engines provides a mere 7.6 kilonewtons of thrust, but they do so with a specific impulse of 308 seconds, the best efficiency in the rocket, and for a duration of 7 minutes and 5 seconds. The use of a liquid upper stage ensures that the payload reaches its intended orbit. The PSLV has a capacity to orbit of 3.8 tons and has been used to launch many different satellites from a wide variety of nations, but its most famous payload so far is the Mars Orbiter mission on a PSLV XL. It has been launched 37 times as of the recording of this video, with 35 successes for a 94.6% success rate. The three variants of the rocket get roughly equal launch counts, 12 for the PSLV-G, 11 for the PSLV-CA, and 14 for the PSLV-XL. The only failures have been on the PSLV-G early on. The Mars Orbiter mission famously demonstrated the PSLV's combination of reliability and affordability, with the entire mission costing $73 million, most of which was due to the payload and other costs. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the PSLV.